In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Diablo 2, including how to update to the latest version, and how to get full screen. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is go to battle.net. Now, once you're on battle.net, go to the search shop and look up Diablo 2, and it'll show Diablo 2 2000. This is the original Diablo 2, so go ahead and buy it. If you want to look up Lord of Destruction, there's Lord of Destruction right there, 2001. Go ahead and buy that too. All right, so the next part is you want to go to account settings on your battle.net account. Now, when you're on here, you want to go to games and subscriptions and then scroll all the way down to the very bottom where it says classic games. And on here, you'll see both your Diablo 2 and your Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. You'll see license key and download game client. The download game client only takes you to the battle.net client, which is not what we need, but what you will need is the license key. So make sure you have this tab open and we'll come back to these license keys in a bit. All right, so what you'll need to go to now is open another tab and go to Diablo 2 Download Blizzard on Google. It's gonna pop up a battle.net website and it will take you to this article here that was very conveniently updated eight hours ago. It's gonna show you how to install Diablo 2 and Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. And it's just gonna provide you two download links. One will be Diablo 2 and the expansion. So you can just go ahead and download these. You wanna to go to your downloads section in File Explorer and go ahead and run the downloader Diablo 2. Now it's gonna prompt you to ask these weird things or whatever, just don't worry about it, just hit cancel. So it's gonna ask you to set a download location for the installer. I personally use the desktop. To use anything else like program files x86, it's gonna give you an error. So just go ahead and set it to the desktop. Once that's done downloading, go ahead and close it and head over to where the file is downloaded at and you'll see the installer executable. Just go ahead and run it. All right, now you'll be able to install Diablo 2. Just go ahead and click it, scroll the way down, hit agree, and it's gonna ask for a name. I'm going to put Sven and it's going to ask for your Diablo 2 CD key. Now the CD key is the license key on your gains and subscriptions. I'm going to take mine. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it. I'm going to hit OK. You could set this to wherever you want. I personally set it to program files. x86 is just a place where I normally keep my Diablo 2 clients at. So I'm just going to hit OK. And now you can play Diablo 2. But this is the original Diablo 2. This is not with the Lord of Destruction expansion. So just to verify that the game is working properly, you're not having any errors, just go ahead and type the following command, dash w, dash direct, dash text. The reason why you wanna do this is just to make sure if the game is actually running properly on your computer, it's not giving you weird errors or anything. So just go ahead and run it. And if you see the Diablo 2 logo, that means the game is properly working and you can go ahead and exit the game. And now what we're gonna do is is install the Lord of Destruction expansion. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna run Lord of Destruction. It's gonna ask you to choose a browse for folder and we are going to set it to the desktop. Hit allow access and there we go. Now we'll just have to wait for this to get done. So now the installer for the Lord of Destruction is done downloading. Go ahead and run the installer. Yes, click install Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. Scroll all the way down, hit agree, type your name. And then for the CD key, like we did before, just get your license key, copy it and then paste it, hit OK, and there we go. We successfully installed Diablo 2. However, we're not quite done yet. Even though the game is fully downloaded, if we run our Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction, you'll notice that it says 114B. Now, this is not the current version of the game, and if you try to connect to Battle.net, it won't be able to connect to Battle.net. The only way for you to get the latest version of Diablo 2 is first look up Diablo 2 114D patch, and if you see Mod DB, go click that link, click download now once you have it downloaded go to your downloads folder and, and just run lord of destruction patch hit yes and if you see the dialog box that says the update has completed successfully just go ahead and run your diablo 2 and just verify that you have 114d and connect to battle.net and if it brings you to the account name and password that means you can now connect to battle.net and you have the current version of diablo 2 if you want to play in full screen instead of window mode just go ahead and exit diablo 2 and if you go to properties and you try to get rid of the dash w which stands for window and you try to run the game it's going to give you this error now some of you may get this error and some of you might not get this error for those that do go ahead and hit okay but look up glide 3d fx now scroll down until you see the glide 3 to open
OpenGL. Click on that, go to downloads, click on the latest download link, and once you have it downloaded, go ahead and go to your Diablo 2 files, drag and drop your Glide 3D files into your Diablo 2 files, run the glide.exe, then click on STD slash export, then click on plus remove registry entries. Go to your Diablo 2 shortcut in the target box, add dash 3DFX, apply, run your Diablo 2, and you should now have a full screen Diablo 2. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Check out any of the other videos I have on my channel. Other than that, I will see you all next time.